Between 80 and 90% of all global trade is carried on the world's oceans in massive ships equipped with the most sophisticated navigational systems ever invented. 50,000 merchant ships licensed to 150 nations carry every kind of cargo, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It was not always so. To get us where we are today, it would take a large number of exceptional innovations from different cultures and the courage to venture out into the great unknown. In 1500 BC, Polynesians in double-hulled canoes driven by sails relied on celestial navigation to explore the islands of the Pacific from New Guinea to Hawaii. They followed the stars and a few natural cues like the height of the waves across great expanses of ocean. Early Egyptians used sails as well, but only with the wind in their backs as they explored the upper Nile. To return home, they drifted with the current. Ancient Greeks, Romans and Phoenicians built their prosperity on commercial vessels to transport large volumes of goods. They increased the depths of their ships to carry cargo, but continued to navigate with steering oars and primitive sails. Then, in the first century, the Chinese mounted a rudder on the sides and then at the stern of their ships, making it possible to steer without the aid of oars. A thousand years later, this invention reached the West, where as a permanent fixture attached to the stern post, it helped Columbus and other explorers navigate the oceans. Larger and larger sails were mounted on multiple masts to create the fully rigged sailing ship. A long process of incremental change of sails and hulls had made it possible to zigzag ever higher against the wind. In 1600, Queen Elizabeth granted an exclusive charter to the East India Company and its fleet of fully rigged merchant vessels with controllable sails and rudders to launch the Great Age of International Trade. Until 1834, the East India Company was the world's most extensive commercial shipping company in the world. They sailed to India and China and brought home the goods the British came to depend on, from tea to fabrics, from spices to gold. The ocean had become the highway on which world trade was to develop. And so it is today. The rudder remains essential, along with the stabilizer, radar and GPS compass that are at the heart of the world's merchant fleet. We got here because of the courage and curiosity of generations, trial and a lot of error. Only two sailors never ran aground, said Don Bamford. One never left port, and the other was an atrocious liar. Hey, check out these other great videos from Free to Choose Network. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get updated on episodes of New and Improved with me, Johan Norberg.